but yeah, I see what you're saying, but yeah, I hear you, but get up off of your ass and get in the game, man. It's that simple. Because there's people we currently have people that's in the game right now, and we are making huge strides. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot more people that we that are on our side that we underestimate because the movement is not organized and there's no clear cut agenda. So deep down inside, there may be a lot of people who have our sentiments, but they don't know what to rally behind because it's never been presented to them. Can you put underrated question up? Because I think it's it's something we should definitely um, unpack. He said, do you think one of the reasons our people push back on Liberia being a nation state because visually it doesn't look like a utopia they desire to live in? I would say part of that part of the reason why um but another reason why is like Halep said just not putting in the work nobody has presented a case or a policy solutions to why it's just go there and, and just basically be as individuals nobody has outlined it the way that we're doing which is collectively which is this should be organized. Nobody's said that. And utopia is unrealistic. I don't think anybody is. If you're living in America right now, are you in a utopia? Nope. No. no. Well, Sweden is not a utopia. They are, right. Those people think they are. Norway is not a utopia. Finland is not a utopia. Nowhere on this earth is a utopia. Whether or not it's Singapore, Qatar, nowhere is a utopia. They have their own issue. The right. point is you want to make it livable. You want to make it the place where people want to live. That's Thank what you, you want to do. Let's bring it close to home. Is your home, your home, the place you live at right now, a utopia? Does every, doesn't every family have their issues? So what does that mean? That you don't want a home? You don't want anything that's yours because you got issues? It's like the, the whole utopia thing is just... Uh, let's, uh, even, let's break it down. Let's break it down simpler. Let's break it down simpler. You live, let's say, for example, you live in an apartment complex in, in Atlanta, right? You may love the high rises. You love the high rises. You love that it's in the downtown area. But what's one reason you hate? You hate traffic. You hate that it's constantly busy all the time. It's mm -hmm. hard to go places. You have to leave early. But you live, you like living there. It's not perfect. But the benefits outweigh the cost. There you go. There's more positives than negatives, so I stay there. So there I'll deal go. with the traffic. I'll deal with the congestion. I'll deal with it being busy and, and, and people are constantly moving around. It never sleeps here. I'll deal with that because the positives outweigh the negatives. Yeah. It's that simple. So the whole thing, when, it, when people bring utopia into anything, it's a Negro stalling tactic. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. a straw man. Because there is no utopia anywhere on the planet Earth. Even the, even the nations that are considered the, the top 10 or top 5 in quality of life are not utopias. Mm -hmm. Good question. Thank you. <laughs>